Back in five segment tonight, the House Oversight Committee will begin hearings tomorrow about the assassination of U.S. Ambassador Christopher Stevens and three other Americans in Benghazi, Libya. Three whistleblowers are expected to testify, and that could be very bad news for former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and President Obama. Here now some pregame analysis, Monica Crowley and Alan Combs. I don't want to do any speculation, all right, but do you expect that Hillary Clinton, first of all, will be damaged by tomorrow's testimony? Well, I think based on what we know so far, the preliminary stuff we've gotten for, as to what these whistleblowers may say tomorrow, I think Hillary Clinton is, in fact, a central figure in the scandal, if not the central figure in the scandal. Three quick reasons. One, she or her department turned down repeated requests for security leading up to the attack, even though Benghazi was a longtime terrorist stronghold, repeated attempts against our compound there before the September 11th attack. Secondly, on the night of the attack, there is word from one of these whistleblowers, Bill, that she actually cut out the State Department's counterterrorism unit. They deny that. We'll see what the testimony is tomorrow. By cut out, you mean tomorrow. she didn't keep them informed that and she, she didn't actively, speak to them? She actively eliminated them from the chain of information and command. Okay. That would be huge. And then she was AWOL the rest of the night when Americans were under fire. Third. And the third point, and I think this may be the most important and damaging one to her, State Department, along with the White House, based on what we're hearing so far, altered the facts. You know, people talk about talking points. That sounds like somebody just edited a speech. No, they actually altered the facts to eliminate all references to al-Qaeda, Ansar al-Sharia, which is the al-Qaeda group that claimed credit for this, um, and Islamic terror. And that laid the groundwork for the big lie that then moved forward. Okay. And you say, Combs? I say, well, I had Thomas Pickering, the ambassador who co-chaired the Accountability Review Board with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Mike Mullen, who said that there was absolutely nothing that went on toward here in terms of the time they could not get help to Benghazi quickly enough, and that one of the people who's going to testify tomorrow, Greg Hicks, Deputy Chief of Mission at the U.S. Embassy, uh, did not tell him, although now he's saying that he tried to get help from Avino, Italy, and he was denied, or they were denied, the Pentagon right, so, denied that. Now he's so saying Pickering, he, he never Pick, said that. Pickering, former U.N. ambassador, yeah. but he was appointed by Hillary Clinton, by the way, yes. on the Accountability Review Board, not to yeah. impugn his honesty. Well, he wouldn't impugn Mullen either, I don't think. No, um, but I'm curious, when you talked to Pickering last night, their report that he signed yeah. said that there was a systemic failure right. um, about leaving the facility in Benghazi. And what he, was told me, he told me that there were four people who yeah. were uh, at risk here, or at least who did not but, do the right thing. What was the failure? He didn't say what the failure was. Why didn't he you did, ask what him? he did say was it well, didn't why, come Why up. didn't you ask him? We didn't get failure. time to talk about the whole report. But well, what well, he well, did, well, what the he headline of the report, Combs, right. is that this is the headline. Right. There's a systemic failure, all right, that left the facility inadequately protected. What was it? I can tell you that that didn't come up. I can tell you what he did. You, you didn't ask him. I didn't. It, that was not the issue. What he said was. But that's the headline. Why he didn't said, you ask? He him? said that was not what we talked about. What he well, said, why didn't you ask what the headline of the report was? Th that there was a systemic failure. I yeah, said why? he was responsible for the systemic failure, and what he said was that there were four people he recommended no longer work there. None of them are still but working at the State Department. But what was the systemic failure? As I said, he didn't say. But why didn't, didn't you say, push him? I didn't push him on that. But right. the fact that is was that the headline. He, but Look, he, the but the, the, what I'm trying board. to get a, here's the point I'm trying to get across. This is a partisan play now. Okay, the Obama people mm -hmm. are going to do what Combs did, try to make sure that nothing bad comes out, and the people who don't like Obama are going to try to hang the president and Hillary Clinton. That's a tough one because now it's a partisan issue rather than a truth issue. So what we're going to do here is be very, very precise. That's why I scolded you. This is the headline by Mullen and by Pickering, appointed by Hillary Clinton. There was a systemic failure. The American people need to know what the failure was and who exactly was responsible. Now, do you believe, Monica Crowley, yes. that Hillary Clinton and or President Obama is responsible for the systemic failure? Yes, the bug do. always stops with the person in charge, or at least should. In but this hands case, on, Clinton. hands on, are they responsible? You had Americans under fire. Where was the Secretary of State who was directly responsible for the, these people? And where was the well, commander Well, she put in out, Hillary Clinton zone? put out, uh, uh, this. I have a paper in my hand, 
a timeline where she says she was very involved in every aspect of it. That's what she says. Well, the okay. Arabies, well, just you, quickly, the Arabies is under internal investigation because they didn't interview Hillary. Well, and we'll see what the testimony any, is. Any right of so you, you, Monica Crowley, believe that Hillary Clinton and mm -hmm. President Obama are responsible for the quote unquote systemic yes. failure. You yes. obviously well, do well, not. I, well, obviously, this seems, like a part, this seems like a partisan witch hunt, and this is clearly a partisan issue. Well, here. there are Democrats and on the committee, so are, I don't but, know. But I've been after Obama since day one, and this seems like, based on what Pickering said and based on what Mullen said, there were underlings who were involved and not, not Clinton but and the, Obama the themselves. The ultimate question here is I don't think either Obama or Hillary are going to fall on their swords for this. They're going to, people are going to close ranks. So the question is, who is going to take the fall for them? My guess would be Leon Panetta, the defense secretary. Wow. He has, Leon. No, he has no political ambitions. No. We're trying, to get, we're trying to get Leon on here. No, no evidence that that will be the case either. All right. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.